idea. And now you can progress. Let's see where this takes us, Dr. Cross. tiny modification. Make it disappear rather than retract into the wall. Although that's not the end of this room. Yeah. That's right, it's bouncy time! flying over there. Although, there might be a problem. <laughs> yeah, you can see it now, don't you? It would work better if you could, well, get up there. <sighs> yeah, this is how it feels to be a dwarf like Warwick Davis. Everything's a bit too... big. Yeah. Works special with that, doesn't it? 
and once again, it can work, but <sighs> yeah, it needs once again a tiny modification. Get on there, then make the green cube appear. human, or, or was. Now I don't know what it is. A statue. And it was saying something. No, not saying. A radio transmission of sorts. I don't know, this is messed up. Millie, whatever it was, it just means we need to find the location of that signal as soon as possible. Okay? Then we can find a place to rendezvous. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry, it just... I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep going, okay? Yeah. We can only hope that the intentions of the intelligence of this structure is benign. Clearly have something to prevent your bones breaking from long fall, so jump down. Because if you didn't, then <sighs> you'd have broken your bones. Emma, I've emerged into a large chamber. Can you tell me how far I am from the beacon? Your altitude shows that you're about halfway there. There's a strange machine in here. I'm going to investigate it, see if it can help me find my way around this place. Hmm. I can't decipher this, Emma. The language is like nothing I've ever seen. There are some things I can make out in illustration. Like, it seems to be a physical transportation machine. An elevator or monorail that ascends. It's hard to understand. It's connected to the three doorways by these large cables. I wonder if it's something that can be powered, taking us towards the beacon. What was that? I... I have no idea. But whatever it was, it seems to have turned this machine on and... It's opened one of the doors. What are you going to do? I'm going to follow this cable and find out what this machine does. Be careful, Millie. That rising must well be Klingon for all I care. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> As if we have much of a choice in the matter.
Emma, can you read me? I can. The signal's a lot better now. Good. I found what these cables are connected to. It looks like a power reactor. Do you think you can power it? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe for sure, but it certainly does something. There are four doorways connected to it via cables. One of them seems accessible. The door behind me is also locked, so it doesn't seem like I have much choice. Okay. Follow the cable through the open door and see if there's a power source connected to it or a way to open these other rooms. Got it. Clearly, whatever's controlling the structure wants to make sure you're going in the right direction to achieve your objectives. Like these cables lead through to more rooms. I'm gonna follow them, see if they connect to anything that can help power that central machine. Good idea. Let me know if you find anything useful. Clearly, pressure plates are not what you'd call useful. something about that, haven't we? Yeah. The blue ones stay down. The yellow ones don't. That was just the introduction to them. Okay, that one controls that. And I'm guessing the other is controlled by the other one. if you have a green cube on the one you were just on. You probably have enough time to get on there as well. just need to dismiss it now. Then you can get across. <sighs> Don't expect it to be that easy for the next one. It rarely is. And I uh, see your now more confident with how this works now. Switching between colors is a lot smoother. Thankfully you're not in space. Okay, you need to get across there. good place to start, although there's still the problem of how to raise that other <coughs> sorry that other staircase yeah, that's 
the only solution I could think of that would work. And apparently the only solution you thought could work. I've not seen this technology before. I wonder what it does. Probably something that will allow you to reach new heights. Something that... Hmm. Probably something with anti-gravity involved. Yeah. Hmm? An updraft combined with that... <coughs> Sorry. With anti-gravity. Where you need to be falling from the same heights in order to have the same updraft. Yeah, you need something to block it if you want to not be blown away. Because unlike A certain early 20th century actor. Or is it mid? Well, whichever the case, there is something that I do give. not what you've got. Um... Yes. Now it works. And now the layers increase. Okay, that controls the... Well... Catch on quickly, don't you? Okay, this... That one controls the fan. The other controls... Ah. The way forward. And you need to find a green... <coughs> Sorry. Find a way to get the green cube on one of these... Pressure plates. Yeah. At least they're all consistent, aren't they? Although... <sighs> you seem to have found part of the solution, Dr. Cross.
mouse. The longer you take doing this, the longer you have to keep your husband waiting. Along with Poppy. Yeah, but you won't be able to make the jump on your own. You need more forward momentum. Forward momentum that this fan is capable of producing. And requires careful timing in order to... Unless you're getting it wrong. Unless you need something a bit more... in the way of... I'm starting to think you're overcomplicating this. 